Metal Man, all right. He's more mediocre, I'd say. And frankly, with some training, I can foresee doing him Buster only damageless. He seems very predictable. Also, nice aesthetics again. I didn't see the wheel, I thought that was actually part of the background. Considering most of the previous stages I played where it felt like the Roadmaster swap orders, this actually feels like a stage Metal Man would exist in. Or live in, I mean. Can't forget the moles, of course. Welcome to Stream Heavy Elite. I'm currently playing Rockman 2 Grey Zone, a rather difficult ROM hack of Mega Man 2. Let's try out N. Okay, so it's a Nitro Blast. Pretty powerful. But not the weapon I exactly want. I want a weapon that can fire diagonally. Perhaps defeating Metal Man will give me that. Still a bit better than the original mole section. That one felt more random. I don't blame you, Nuclear Stomp. What's with the super aggressive fly boys? Seriously. We don't really need them in this game. Well, you could as a hard mode. By jumping, you can trick them to going into the wall or off screen. They move so fast to clip into the wall. See Quick Man in the original Mega Man 2. Indeed, the rest of the stages I played so far. They felt like the Roadmasters were in a different location than where they should be. Whereas this one really feels like his home. And I can get that, can't I? Let me try it. I guess I need to reach it first. No, it can't blow open the door. I thought this was an explosive weapon. This was rated as being one of the most popular Mega Man 2 ROM hacks of 2009, but I guess it was designed for a more Kaizo audience, that's why. I think I'd rather play the original Mega Man 2 as well. And hold that thought for later, by the way. Of all the stages I've played so far in the game, this one feels the most balanced. No real gotcha moments, and the difficulty is gradually escalated over time. The only real jerk enemies are those blue fly boys. That's what I was saying earlier when saying this was a difficult ROM hack.
I'm gonna take a dead over here. But let me see if I have his weakness. No. Okay, it doesn't do anything. That's good to know. It does freeze him in place. This is actually his weakness. So I'm gonna save it up for my actual run of this. So he only fires when I fire, like the original. But his pattern is more complicated. For one, he actually jumps forward towards me. Only two shots in, sadly. I should have not used it as much. You know, I could also learn to do this buster only. It's essentially a harder mode version of Metal Man, where he can jump forwards. But he still follows a strict pattern, as he never fires the Metal Blaze at me until I fire. I agree, Nuclear Stomp. Some of them were fairly fun. And by feeding him, I get Item Tree. What I really want is item 1, but this will be a nice enough substitute. Well, I don't want to go after Air Man or Quick Man yet, so let's go after Bubble Man now. What is the stage going to be? Full of fire? Lightning? No water? Okay, his stage actually has water. Go away, swarms. Let's see how P works. So I'll just rapid fires forwards. But I can fire in eight different directions, so essentially the Metal Blade analog of this game. And has plenty of ammo too, so thank you, Metal Man. Thank you for cooperating with me. And it actually has a bigger hitbox as well. This looks like a job for O. Oops. Uh... This may be a problem now. Let's try it again. I'll take the debt. I should have used item tree on the right, or been right on the right. No worries, I still have the tank. As I was saying though, I'm gonna be using P a lot more. Whatever it stands for. I'll call it the power orbs. It certainly looks like I'm firing orbs at enemies. There is a way to get that item without dying. I just need to have item 1, that's all. There is a range restriction though, so it's not as good as a metal blade. And 
unlike Metal Man, Bubble Man's stage actually befits him. Welcome to stream, Data. In this game, it actually feels bounds, especially against the tougher enemy configurations. Not to mention it has a range restriction, as we saw. Even the shrinks feel underpowered. They don't deal enough damage relative to everything else. At least that's how I feel. If they were in regular Mega Man 2, I say it'd be appropriate. But here they feel like they're a bit out of place. No big fish is here. I also forgot to do one thing before I started the streaming. I forgot to unoverclock the emulator. So if I was running this on default settings, the game would lag more. It should have lagged in that section. Oh well. I won't unoverclock it now. I'm already several stages into the game. It's even super effective against the fish. I have a hunch it's super effective against Bubble Man. Of all the stages I've played so far, I say this is my favorite one. Outside of getting the E-Tank, this has been relatively fair. I don't see that many jerk maneuvers. Thank you, Buster. Let me test out my Terry. Nope. For a moment there he disappeared. Are you intended to disappear every so often? I don't actually have his weakness, sadly. Save state time. Does he have the same pattern as he did before? Well, I think I know what to do then. I did it. Find this boss, Buster only isn't actually that bad once you get the pattern down.
This wasn't marked the best ROM hack of Mega Man 2 overall, though. It was just marked as being the best one of 2009. Now, I wouldn't consider all ROM hacks of Mega Man 2 to be bad. Then again, it's perhaps attracting a different audience. Sure, let's go after Quick Man. It seems Air Man has borrowed Quick Man's lasers. Perfect place to use item tree for once. Overdrive Ostrich's team. And this looks more like Airman's level, but this is Quickman's stage. I guess they swap places with each other. I want to emphasize again that I like the aesthetics and music choices of this game. They feel appropriate to the stages. What I don't like in particular is the level and boss design though. What in the world? Oh no. Telebombs. Let's test out D. I can slowly aim it downwards though. Next telebomb section. At least that's what I think. Oh no, you. That's it, I'm time stopping everything. Um, is there a platform in the middle? Yes, just wanted to make sure. Okay, can't make it that way. Right at the end, it'd be embarrassing if I died just there. Definitely. Honestly... I feel Metal Man and Bubble Man in this stage are currently my favorite stages of the game. They feel the best balanced. But this one's the best one so far, as it didn't have any zones or areas with gotcha moments. Even the telebombs were easier to dodge as long as you stay under ceilings. Even the pits are clearly marked. Quick Man has a different pattern, but he's still not as fast as Heat Man. Wow, Quick Man is one of the easiest bosses in the game. 
down there with Woodman. His attack pattern is also easy to dodge with some practice. I mean, I got on my second attempt. Frankly, I would have expected his conic damage to be more damaging. Still the best stage in the game. And this is where I get item 1. Which means by process of elimination, there is only one more stage left to go through. Airman's. Or should I say, Force Beam Airman. This is not his movement pattern, it, it feels more consistent. Now let's see what I get by defeating him. I get... S, I guess? Rapid Fire Weapon. And it actually leaves some sparks where the enemy died. Watch me proceed to die here. Let's try this again. He moves in a similar way, but his pattern is not the same. That front firing weapon will be useful for some scenarios. I need to save all up for some of the force beam sections. Here we go. And I failed it because I couldn't drop off the ladder. Again. Seriously? That fast? This looks like a job for the bug shield. Not fast enough. Safe stays coming the level. How are you supposed to do that, Buster? Only. You can do it, but just barely. You need to use either the Bug Shield or O. Whatever O stands for. I'll call it the Time Stop. I think you can do it buster only, but you need to be extremely precise. You can't make any mistakes with your movement. So far I agree of this being the worst stage, especially with the level precision required, almost immediately, with no warning. Oh no. I know, I know, I'm circumventing the challenges of this level, but by default it's too difficult for newbie players or first timers. It feels like complete trial and error to me. I sure hope that wasn't the boss's weakness. Not the best weapon to use against them, sadly.
In other words, use all the cheese strats and save states you can do. Even if you decide to do this without using save states, feel free to cheese everything. The game is just asking to be cheesed. Can you please stop with spawning the atomic chickens? We have enough of them. Definitely the worst stage so far. I'm most likely gonna take a debt here. Especially with Flame Airman. That was fast. Let's test our weaknesses. I suppose it'd be weak to Bubble Man's weapon now. Or I, assuming I can actually get to him. His wind is super strong, oh my goodness. Oh, this works much better. And it pierces through his shots too. He takes double damage from the buster, which well compensates for his quick attack pattern. I know it's becoming a running gag at this point, but still better than Heat Man. At the very least, the Raw Master stages are done. Which means I now move on to the Y Fortress levels. What horrors lie inside for us?